Our early model Roku streaming player was showing its age. The connection was made through RCA cables, the menu interface was limited, and the search function was also limited. It was impossible to add hidden channels to the lineup, and YouTube was no longer available either. We looked at the current crop of available players, and since we are not interested in the 4K capabilities, we narrowed our choice down to the Roku Express or the Roku Stick. The Express was listed at $30 while the Stick was listed at $50. One thing the Stick offered was a quad-core processor, so we wondered if the Express would do the job since it didn't have the quad-core processor. Since our current model wasn't a quad-core either and worked just fine, we went with the Express. Also, the Express remote requires line of sight to work while the stick remote doesn't. However, you can download the Roku app onto your phone and use the remote controls without the need for line of sight. You can also use the headphone jack on your phone for private listening. No one else will be able to hear the TV. The Roku Express did a great job. The interface matched our Roku TV and it was a breeze to find and install private channels using our online Roku account. The Express is as portable as the stick claims to be too, especially when you use the Roku app on your phone. Everything you need to start streaming is in the box. Inside you'll find the Roku Express streaming player, remote control, an adhesive strip, a micro USB cable, an HDMI cable, or composite cables if you have a Roku Express Plus, batteries, and a quick start guide. First, depending on your model, find an available HDMI input or composite input on your TV. Make a note of which input you selected, since you will have to tune your TV to the same source. Next, again depending on your Roku model, insert one end of the HDMI cable or the composite cable into the corresponding input on your TV. The other end goes into the Roku streaming player just like this. Use your TV remote to toggle the button labeled input source or something similar to the same input you used to connect to your Roku player. You won't see anything on the screen yet. Power up your Roku player and the remote. First, connect one end of the micro USB cord into the Roku player and the other end into either the USB port on your TV or use the included power adapter plug directly into a wall outlet. In a few moments you will see the Roku logo on your TV screen. If you don't see it, make sure you are tuned into the correct input on your TV. Next, insert the included batteries into the remote and make sure that they are seated firmly and positioned correctly. For the best experience, you will want a clear line of sight between your remote and the front of the Roku player. When the first screen comes up, use your remote to select your language. English is the default. Connect the Roku player to the network. Select your wireless network and enter your password. When all three checks are green, you are good to go. If a red X appears at any time for troubleshooting help, Go to go.roku.com slash express and look for I am unable to connect to my wireless network. Once connected, your Roku player will download the latest software version so you will get the latest updates. After the player has downloaded the latest software, you'll be prompted to set your display type. Press OK on your remote and your Roku player will automatically determine the best resolution for your TV. If your screen is displaying correctly, select Yes. Screen looks good. Then, confirm your resolution. Once it's been set, you will see the activation screen showing your link code, which you will use online 
to link your Roku player to your Roku account. From a computer or smartphone, you'll need to enter the code at roku.com forward slash link. Do you already have a Roku account? Just sign in. If not, create one now. Set a security PIN code to prevent any unwanted purchases. You'll be required to enter a payment method to make it possible to tr purchase or rent content right from your couch. You'll never be charged without your explicit consent. You can also skip this step if you want. Finally, add some of your favorite channels now so they will be ready to stream on your TV. You can always add more later or remove any you do not want any longer. Then scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and click continue to complete the activation process. On your TV screen you will see all of your selected channels being added to the Roku player. This process may take several minutes. Now you're all set and ready to stream. Back to that adhesive strip. We'll use that to mount your Roku Express player in a position best for your setup. You can set it next to your TV or attach it near your TV. To the side, on top, or to the bottom of your TV. For optimal performance, just make sure your remote always has a clear line of sight to the player, which means you don't want to mount your Roku player to the back of the TV or in a cabinet. For more information on troubleshooting, tips for optimizing your network for seamless streaming and more, visit go.roku.com forward slash express.